Hello, welcome back. So I hope you're enjoying the rest of your meal. And while you're doing that, I'll be uh, introducing our next and last uh, honorary um, <coughs> award that we'll be uh, giving. And so this is the, actually the uh, honorary fellowship that is given uh, each year by the IIV. And this is a process uh, quite uh, complicated and uh, very uh, sophisticated. And for that, I would probably need uh, the president of the IE to come on stage and explain a little bit how it works. And I will also invite uh, Professor Alain Berry, who will have an important role to play in that upcoming uh, award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. So every year, the International Institute of Acoustic and Vibrations recognize uh, an honorary fellow. And this uh, year, last year, uh, the president of the Canadian As uh, Acoustical Association nominated for uh, the grade of honorary fellow the emeritus uh, professor Jean Nicolas from uh, uh, Sherbrooke University. And uh, uh, really this uh, nomination was uh, approved both from uh, the um, executive committee and from uh, the board of directors. So I'm very pleased to recognize uh, this uh, award to the Professor Jean Nicolas who is uh, not here this evening, unfortunately. He is in France. So I give uh, this award to Professor Alain Berry, who will uh, stand uh, uh, will certainly carry it to, to the professor. To Thank you. OK. So, <clears throat> Alain, I think you had uh, something to say about uh, Jean's very prolific career. And so for that, while you'll be uh, explaining us a little bit of his uh, career, we'll go actually through a little uh, slideshow so you can follow and follow and meet, actually, Professor Jean-Nicolas, who used to be uh, my master degree, actually, advisor. And he's been actually the teacher of a lot of uh, researchers that are here in that uh, room. So uh, can we proceed? And I think that's you. Thank you, thank you, Jeremy. So Jean-Nicolas, a passionate career of 3D proportions, research, technology, and education. Freshly graduated in engineering from INSA Lyon in France, Jean-Nicolas arrives in Quebec in 1972, and shortly after will undertake graduate studies at Sherbrooke University. There he will encounter the two greatest passions of his life, Marie-Ange, his future wife, and acoustics. Jean uh, has an exuberant personality, overflowing with imagination, curiosity, enthusiasm, energy, and capable of mobilizing forces. He is not a man of half measures. He likes to see the big picture, things collectively, and when embarking on a project, he focuses on what will have the greatest impact. These are the lines of force that have guided his exceptional career in research, technology, and the education of the next generation, all under the seal of excellence. Jean Nicolas begins his career as a professor at Université de Sherbrooke in 1978. He decides to launch from the ground up research studies in acoustics. He would recall now, at the time, the only instrument he had was a sound level meter, stolen a few months later. <laughs> in 25 years, the group he founded uh, uh, and led became one of the most highly recognized worldwide. GOES, Groupe d'Acoustique de l'Université de Sherbrooke, reputation spreads by its publications, on its technical innovations, and by its graduates whose passion for acoustics is contagious. Internationally renowned researcher, Jean-Nicolas has made his mark as much 
in understanding the phenomena of sound propagation on snow, and we have a lot of snow here, <laughs> as the fine modeling of the vibroacoustic response of semi-complex structures. More than 70 publications, many conferences as guest speaker, fellow of the Acoustical Society of America, and award recipient of the Société Française d'Acoustique are some of the landmarks of his career. A path that powerfully exemplifies the creative force of the cross-fertilization between science and technology. As early as the 1980s, well before multidisciplinary research was the preferred approach, Jean-Nicolas launches with Raymond Etu, I think we have the picture of Raymond here. Raymond unfortunately passed away a few years ago. So Jean-Nicolas launches with Raymond Etu of the audiology department of, at the University of Montreal, a team associated to the IRCST team in which the fields of psychoacoustics and industrial acoustics may meet and enhance each other. Both get along like peas and carrots. One explains how noise harms one's hearing, the other proposes solutions a collaboration that will be prevalent in the chair that will be granted to Jean-Nicolas during 10 years by IRST, IRSST and the ANSERC. Jean-Nicolas is present at, at international conference and in the early morning at factory plants to promote the argument that with the right knowledge and know-how, la réduction du bruit à la source est possible. Reducing noise at the source is possible. Over two decades, Jean-Nicolas consolidates Gauss by recruiting colleagues who, instead of being his double, contribute new scientific skills that strengthen the research axis in acoustics and vibrations. The new professional staff follows his lead to serve society, to help increase knowledge, support technological advances, and train in the next generation. It signs partnerships agreements at an international level as much with companies as with laboratories and provides GOES with equipment that is state of the art and unique in its kind. The students, ever increasing in numbers, are immersed in this dual reali reality where science, motivated by curiosity and technology by necessity, intersect. Jean-Nicolas gets them captivated by acoustics a field that in many universities not even taught at the undergraduate level. The students of GOES not only distinguish themselves by the number of awards they receive and original technologies they develop, but also by the high quality employments they obtain all over the world. For Jean-Nicolas, the quality of the next generation of in research is the most important legacy that a researcher can give to society. He likes to tell us the story of his first intern who knew nothing about acoustics and who now heads the acoustics department at Airbus Industries. Another fundamental force of Jean-Nicolas' career is his conviction that progress is achieved both by mining deep in a particular discipline and interse intersecting with other disciplines and sectors. Thus, on the strength of ties and credibility established in acoustics with the aviation sector, Jean-Nicolas initiates and co-founds in 2002 the CRIAC. It is the first interdisciplinary and cross-sector consortium of its kind in Canada, a formula that will subsequently be adopted by other sectors. This achievement and many others will earn him the Carrière Award from the Association des Directeurs de Recherche Industrielle du Québec in 2004. Jean-Nicolas is not the type of professor who devotes his time entirely to research or entirely to teaching. He will also have focused his tremendous energy to furthering education methods, leading to two notable impacts. In 1996, he is part of a group called the Four Musketeers that will launch a, ma a major innovation in pedagogical methods by training through projects and skills in mechanical engineering, a first 
in Canada. The university pre presents the group with a, an award of excellence in teaching and numerous departments will join the movement. Always inspiring to produce results for society, Jean-Nicolas once again takes up his pilgrim staff to refresh and improve, and improve the graduate programs. In 2004, he establishes the first PhD, micro PhD program, integrating skills and in the area for which he receives in 2010 an award of excellence in teaching in Canada. For four years, he will head a second research chair in education this time. His, pa his passion for research, technology, and education earn him the highly des deserved title of Professor Emeritus, which he obtains in 2010. Today, we honor him, the pioneer of acoustics in Quebec, who made it possible to spread acoustics in Quebec, Canada, and all over the world. He also showed us that the generation and propagation of sound goes far beyond the boundaries of acoustics. Acoustically yours. Thank you. And I do believe we have a little response from Jean-Nicolas. Let's see if the connection is established with friends. He may be in a booth, audiometric booth, or an equip room. Jean, can you hear us? Friends, I am so happy to receive this great distinction from the International Institute of Acoustic and Vibration. Decades of passionate research and training get here climax with this honor. Obviously, I am very disappointed not to be with you to receive live this distinction. I wish each of you a fruitful Congress with intensive scientific exchanges. Acoustically, yours. All right. So on that uh, acoustically yours note, uh, I think we'll move to either another plate or another uh, circus. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but there will be something going on. Thank you. <laughs> 